So when we were first setting up what kind of levels, what kind of areas we wanted to go for. Incan areas, obviously, one of the big uh, civilizations that people are, are very aware of and so forth. At the time, the actual Vilcabamba itself hadn't been discovered when they TL1. It was literally was a lost city of legend where the Incans disappeared to and the Spanish didn't supposedly didn't get to it. I mean, actually, I think that the current theory is the Spaniards did find it, killed everybody in there. But um, anyway, so by the time we come to the remake, they've actually found the found Vilcabamba. It doesn't look anything like this for some reason. I don't know why. But um, yeah. Yeah, when we uh, came to sort of remake this village area, one of the things that was interesting was when Toby was like, we're going to remake the village. And everybody was like, there's a village? Where? <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was sort of one of the things in TR1, just because of the way they, they built it, it's sort of the fact that there was this village where everyone lived was sort of unclear. So we really wanted to sort of reinterpret the idea of there being a village to sort of clarify that to the user that, oh, look. It's actually a town and a civilization. There are these little huts. So we sort of kept the individual areas that were in there the same, but we completely re-laid it all out and uh, made uh, a big wide open space in the middle where you could sort of see everything all at once and get the, the real sense that there was a, a civilization that lived in this area. <laughs> So this was sort of the, uh, the exit from the, the town proper into the more depths of the cave that this Incan civilization had built. It was one of those spots in the original TO1 where um, I, I kind of, I'm a big fan of, of sort of symmetric level design because people generally, when they're building architecture, tend to be fairly symmetric about their efforts. It gives you interesting ability to sort of reuse the idea of a space but change it based on the amount of ruin that's going on inside it. So I like that repeat. And the two-towered gateway into the Lost Valley was one of those spots. Yeah, and we kept that essentially the same. The only thing I think we changed is we actually have physics in the game now, which didn't have in TR1, so we made the opening of the door done by Laura's physical interaction with the lock pieces themselves. 